21 weeks and uh, going fantastic. I have just been um, putting in some beads. I've just recently washed my hair and generally when I jump on um, line with you guys it is just after I've, I've done a bit of wash. Uh, something really cool that I've been um, able to do, I don't really have a, a long one, um, some of my dreads are really, really thick, uh, which is fantastic, uh, and I'm finding it very difficult to get my beads on, so what I want to do is put them on, leave them on, and then just start washing uh, my hair with them on, because as your dreads get older, that is something that you can do, but... Um, if you have a look at this one, you can see down here it's like really fluffy. Um, I could crochet that but I don't. And um, so what I um, did, um, just get some, I have some, just some ribbon here. And what I did was I actually wrapped my dread. So if I can find a dread here. So for instance, um, I, I like that one down low so I haven't worried about that because these ones are quite small. The bead is small, um, meaning the eye of the bead. So I'm not going to be able to get them right up here anyway so I'm happy with those ones down there. But these ones are, are bigger beads um, but I'm still finding, them, finding it hard to push them up. So anyway, what I would do if I wanted to put on one of these bigger ones, or say for instance this one, which has a bigger hole, you can see that, is grab um, just a thin piece of ribbon or something, start where you want the bead to go, and then just wrap it really tightly around your dread, because what it's doing is pulling in all the loose hair, it's making your dread really tight and compact and like um, just much easier to get the bead on. Uh, and you do that like all the way down. I'm just going to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Just trying to do it really quickly for you. So then when you get it to where you think it'd be right, you put, you grab your bead. So you just, I grab my bead. And I always put my crochet hook through the end and what I would do is grab all of this, turn it around, bring it through the bead. And then I would push it up over the ribbon. Um, and I found that a really, really, really good way to get um, your beads onto your dreads and then that way I mean, this is like mine are four and a bit months old, so I'm quite happy to put the beads in and leave them. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll see how I go anyway. I'm still learning heaps. But yeah, I've done that with um, some of these that one, this one, um, definitely the one I just showed you. That one. Uh, some under here that I've done it with. And. This one, yeah, so I've, I've done it with a few, I tried to get one on that one but I just don't have a big enough bead and even as much as um, I tightened that one up, it's still too fat, it doesn't matter. So um, yeah, if you get to the point where your dreads are getting really thick and you want your beads to stay on, uh, I would give that a go because it was really, really, really good and um, it worked for me, so it may work for you too. Um, also, I recently wrapped this dread because it was getting, it was just really, really loose. I think if you've watched my videos, uh, previous videos, it's always been loose. Um, and wrapping it did help. I've also made these cute little dread socks. More, if you go around. That's a little flower one. I've just crocheted them. I think they're really cute. Uh, I had more in, but <laughs> it just looks a little bit ridiculous with heaps in. That one. Hopefully 
you can see that. But these are my dreads. At 21 weeks. I don't have any more dreads underneath. I've only got um, three or four at the top. But yeah, going really, really well. Like, as I say, getting very, very thick, tightening up. Doing really, really good. So just a quick one again today, guys. I don't want to bore the heck out of you. Um, uh, there have been a couple of questions um, that have come out up that I'm going to be doing some videos on soon. So keep whoop, posted and... Um, I will tell you a little bit more about those when I, I make the videos, but here are my little dread socks. That's one. They're just crocheted. They're so cute. And there's another one. I did some flower ones. They're so simple. <laughs> really, really cute. And I've been making...